So today I actually hit marker what would have been my best shot ever, and it, it kind of annoyed me a little bit, but not too much, because uh, I think I'll just let the clip roll, or the hit marker roll. <gasps> oh my god, how many people were there, dude? That could have been a triple. I still haven't hit one single triple, not even on Nuketown. I haven't hit a triple, ever, and it still pisses me off. So here's the clip. No way. Did I just... I just hit mark at a wall bang, I think. I think I just hit mark. So yeah, I pretty much hit mark at a wall bang, even though I had FMJ on. I must have hit the guy, like, in the foot or something, because... Honestly, it just kind of annoyed me, because I'm not even consistent. But they don't give me a trick shot that I hit. It's kind of like what happened to Jev. Didn't Jev, like, hit mark or a uh, wall bang on Modern Warfare 2? But it was... Like, he hit mark it, and... He said the exact same thing, actually, that he's not... Ooh, ooh, why, 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 why did they have to stop me there? I got a no-scope collateral. That could have been... That could have turned into something really good. Ah, six and nine, boys. Sixty-nine. I don't know why I have to point stuff out like that. That, you know... St oh, my God, I'm... That guy's life is so boring. I am not enjoying Nuketown. I, I'm not even enjoying Black Ops 2 right now. I've been playing Modern Warfare 2 all day, and I was enjoying that quite well, so I don't know why I came onto this. So I actually kind of want to talk about um, a really, really uh, kind of, like, just a story that happened on Friday for me. Now, I'm not going to, like say i'm not trying to make myself sound like a badass to be honest i'm a little goody two shoes i rarely do anything really that bad but it was it was sort of a really scary experience for me and we lose the game you know i, I don't even want to play this game anymore it was kind of a scary experience for me because as i said i'm a little freaking goody two shoes i don't do anything bad ever but what happened on friday is kind of weird so i'm gonna explain on friday um, the buses weren't supposed to be working on Friday. As I planned, I wasn't going to go to school because the buses weren't working. And so, what happened on Thursday is there was an update that actually said that the buses were going to work. And that it was cancelled, whatever was going on. Basically, the buses were going to be on strike. But... I decided, uh, well, basically they decided that they're gonna have the buses go on anyway. And I really did not feel like going to school at all. Like, I was actually so freaking lazy, and I was like, I really don't want to go to school today. And so what happened, might you ask? Uh, me and my friends just decided... Or me and two of my other friends decided, hey, we're just going to mitch out and we're not going to go to school. We're going to pretend as if we're going, but in reality, we're not. And that is called mitching. I don't know what you call it in your country or if that's just the word for it. But we pretended as if we went to school when really we didn't. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it just feels way more comfortable. So I'm going to go along with it. Oh yeah, I remember what happened last time on this map. Ooh. But anyway, what happened is we just did it. We kind of, like, we didn't go to school. And we were just walking around in town for pretty much, like, seven hours. Because that's how long my school, well, a school day lasts for me. Around seven hours. Uh, one hour, like, including lunch times. Hey, commando. So for the first couple of hours, it was all dandy. You know, nobody, you know, we didn't get stopped by any guards or anything to say, like, why aren't you in school? Because we actually had a change of clothes, or at least I did. They already got into their clothes, and I had to change clothes in my bag. So I just changed somewhere. I got into, like, some really comfortable clothes, because I'm not staying in my uniform, like, for seven hours, just walking around and shit. That, that, that's not comfortable. You know how uniforms are very uncomfortable normally. And so what happened is we got changed. We just walked around for the first couple of hours. It was fine, you know. Um, me and my friends went to this skateboarding shop and just looked around. And then my friend, he gets a phone call, and he's like, I gotta go home. My school called... 
my school called my parents and I have to get home because they know I'm on a Mitch. And I was like, okay, maybe it's because he's done this a couple times, alright? This is my first time ever Mitching, by the way. Let me just mention that. And I was thinking, okay, he's done it a couple times. They're obviously going to, like, call his parents because they, they're concerned, you know? Because he's been out a couple times before during school and they didn't get, no like, they didn't get notified about it, uh, the school. And what happens is we're going, me and my last friend, uh, like, I'm here with one more guy, the other guy left, and I'm here with my friend, and I'm like, okay, you know, that's fine, uh, nothing's happening uh, to us, and we just kind of brushed off, we were like, okay, he's getting in trouble, unlucky him, he's probably not gonna care, I heard his uh, parents grounded him, like, not even for a week, so he doesn't really give a shit about the punishment, and then I get a phone call from my mom, and I didn't answer at first because I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's just something else. Maybe it's nothing to do with this. I'm just not going to answer for, uh, at first. Well, I saw the missed call and it was literally like driving me insane. I was like, oh my god, dude. They're so, like, it's so annoying because I don't know what's going on. Maybe she already knows. I should probably call her back. And this was during lunchtime. Uh, well, the time was during lunchtime, so I was like, okay, maybe I'll call her back. I'll pretend as if I'm in school, uh, because it is lunchtime. I can call people. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to call her. She's going to call me back. I'm not wasting my credit on that. And she did. She called me back, and she was like, uh, the school called me. And I didn't manage to answer because I'm in work. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so freaking happy. And she was like, is anything going on in school? And I just... I took a little pause and I was like, no, everything's fine. I just I just brushed it off. I just completely brushed it off as if nothing was happening. And she was like, okay, are you sure? How's school? And I'm like, it's fine. You know, nothing's happening. And <laughs> literally nothing's happening because I'm not even in there. But so I just brushed it off and nothing ended up happening. Now she said they're going to call her back. And I'll, when I heard that, I was like, Oh shit, they're probably gonna call her back and tell her what's happening. Like, they don't even know if I'm mitching. Like, I could be sick, and they just wanna find out if I'm absent because of that. But anyway, what happened is, the entire day, I was just like, Oh my god, I'm, I'm caught, dude. My first ever time mitching, and I'm already caught. I'm not gonna get out of this. It's over. I'm just gonna have to accept it. Let's just pretend that hit. I'm just gonna have to accept it. I'm caught, and then a couple hours passed, and she never called me back. Now, obviously, if the school told her, she would have called me back by then because I'm out of school, so, you know, she would have had time to call me. But, uh, what happened is, a couple hours passed, and I was like, why hasn't she called me back yet? Nothing, did, did she get the phone call? Like, it was just so nerve-wracking because my friend was there like, Dude, a couple hours passed by, you know, she probably didn't get the call, you know, everything's fine. And then the clock hit, like, 3 o'clock or something, and I was like, I'm literally, like, I'm in the safe zone. Like, nothing has happened. She hasn't called me yet to uh, ask me to come home, because the school wasn't going to ask us to go back to the school. They were just going to say, you know, go back home. And so, oh my god, it was the most nerve-wracking thing ever. The, the clock striked half 3. And I was like, okay, I gotta get changed back in my uniform, and I gotta make it over to my bus stop to get back home. And uh, uh, by the way, like these were, this was literally like, this lasted so long. It felt like 50 hours. It took so freaking long for the day to pass by because while you're in school, you're actually doing work, and you know, time is passing by and stuff. But I got back home, and no one was saying anything. No one was saying anything, and I was like. Okay, am I fine? Am I fine? My mom comes home, and she doesn't know about anything. Nothing. Nobody got a call. Nothing. It was just so freaking safe, and I just felt I just felt great. I, I was like, okay, I'm in the safe zone. Nothing's happening. It was the best thing ever. I got away with it. Now... My other friend, he didn't get a phone call home because he's not even supposed to be in school. Um, the school thinks he's already gone on holiday because he's actually supposed to be gone on holiday. But his mom, do, like, his mom told him to go to school. 
but he didn't, and the school wasn't gonna call because they already think he's gone on his holiday, so there's no bother on, there's like no reason for them to call his parents. So basically, he was in the safe zone the entire time, you know, nothing was ever gonna happen to him because he's, the school isn't gonna call. And my friend ended up actually writing a note to the school and saying like, you know, I was sick and stuff, it was kind of like a note that I'm gonna give, give in tomorrow at the time of recording this. And he has very similar handwriting to my mom, like the joint handwriting, and he just wrote the signature, I wrote the rest, like, um, you know, the reason I was out and stuff, because they'll probably accept that. So tomorrow I'm gonna go back into school, the day of my exams is actually starting, so, you know, I'm real happy about that. I did study, but... Mm, I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm just gonna have to see. I'll obviously mention it in a video like I have before in my uh, GTA Let's Play, which came out so long ago. I actually mentioned my grades, which, or my percentage, which was kind of weird, but whatever. Just hope I actually do good in algebra. So, tip of the day, um, just don't go on Mitch's. You're, you're probably gonna get caught. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.